Hey guys, welcome back to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Today I'm here to watch season three, episode 16. Last episode, we got to see Coach from New Girl, although it wasn't actually Coach, it was Stevie, a dirty cop. I'm still trying to figure out how this is gonna work, like when the New Girl and Brooklyn Nine-Nine crossover happens, like, will Coach just be a different character or will he not be in it at all? Because that's a... That's something I've been thinking about. Anyways, last episode, the 9-8 had to share the precinct with the 9-9. It was not a good time. Everyone was bashing heads, invading space, taking computers. It was chaos and I loved it. Anyways, before we get started with the episode, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I post reactions to Brooklyn Nine-Nine every Tuesday. Now it's time to watch season three, episode 16, which is called House Mouses. House Mouses, Arctic Monkeys, I swear this wasn't planned. Oh, who is it from? I don't trust it. Did none of you detectives think this might be a gift for Captain Holt from someone in France? Ooh. Like his husband, for example? What? <laughs> none of you no, detectives okay. figure that out? Thinking of the best, Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. He even used their pet name. What do we do? Replace. No. No. <laughs> no. It's okay. <laughs> Stapler. Scissors. Stop. That man really knows. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Jake in the back. <laughs> Very important. Very high profile celebrity was robbed in our precinct. Oh, who? A celebrity, sir. Is it a Chris? Hemsworth? Evans? Pratt? Pine. Was it a Tom? The last movie she saw was a documentary about spelling bees. Wrong. It was about the font Helvetica. And it played like an action thriller. Hitchcock hasn't even gotten out of his chair today. PJ, I can go uh. anywhere in this thing. But I shouldn't. Boy, you take the celebrity kick. <gasps> oh. Me? Instead of Jake? Have you lost your damn mind? It's time to get these mice out of their heist. Oh, that was lame. Life is meaningless. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Mouses out of their houses. You didn't sign up last year either. She's afraid of needles. Or the year before. Are you afraid of needles? I don't like being stabbed by someone so they can steal my blood. I'm crazy. I'm tougher than Rosa. Mm. I, I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> we each agree to face one of our fears oh. today. For ourselves and for all of womankind. Ugh, that sounds terrible. But I'm in. Oh, man. I already ate. I guess I'll just have a cheeseburger deluxe, a couple slices of pie, and maybe an egg cream. Okay. And a waffle. Who fell asleep under their desks and caught the janitor stealing evidence? We did. Mm. And who sued the department and got triple ply toilet paper in every precinct? We did. Our victim is John William Weisselbrock. I don't... I... Remind me who that is again. Yeah. You're kidding. He's a world-renowned oboist. Weisselbrock fans. Not Weisselbrockniacs. Oh, <laughs> that's very good. I'm gonna use that liberally. <laughs> oh, you do think it smacks of preferential treatment? I don't know what you're gonna <laughs> say. Okay, you've convinced me. I'll work the case with you. Oh. We just linked your little dumb pot bust to a major narcotics ring. Ooh. This might be the biggest drug case the 9-9 had in years. Oh. Cool. Cool, cool. I may have given that very huge drug case to Hitchcock and Scully. What? I really thought they were gonna bring in a major celebrity for this. Like, an oboist. Sorry, dude. So Jake screwed up. The girls are gonna face their fears. Scully and Hitchcock are in charge of a drug case, so that's that's gonna be interesting to see. They'll pull it off. Maybe. I don't know. The only item on Scully's calendar for the entire year is eat peanut butter. Yeah, we gotta find them. Yeah. And to do that, we have to think like they do. Oh. They went for hot dogs. How do you know? There's a water stain on the ceiling in the shape of a bun. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet wings. It's a normal hot dog with a little chocolate sauce. One that does not no sound Jake. good. No, Terry. Have you seen him recently? Half hour ago. I could be anywhere by now. Nope, there's Scully. <laughs> Where's, Where's Hitchcock? Hitchcock? I'm going undercover as Tex Dallas. Billionaire oil man from Dallas, Texas, with ties to the cowboy mafia. Oh, boy. Hitchcock's my middleman. Reno Vegas. Mobster from Reno. Oh, my Las God. Vegas. We got to stop it. Disaster? Tell me one thing that's wrong with Operation Beans. Oh, um, starting with the name. You're an incredibly gracious host, Mr. Weisselbrock. Wow, that pronunciation is flawless. 
Hold stop. I must I admit that there's not as much money in classical music as there once. Which is the Wait, Charles is on to something. Boyle, can I talk to you privately? No, let him do his Wait, job. You take a picture of the two of us Holt, you're distracted, you're biased. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just go in the closet? When I'm ready, you will shut the trunk and... Oh my god, what if they can't open it? Oh no. No, someone's gonna take that car. Come back! Come back, I can't do this! 47 minutes? You did it. How'd it go? I think the lesson here is that as women, we... No! You close that trunk again and I will kill you! You hear me? <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> I'm beginning to think you were lying to us. I was lying! I already admitted that! Well, if anything happens, it's because he- I know. Right, Mom? Shit. Shit, me! No! I feel like this is the most that Hitchcock and Scully have been involved in an episode. Am I wrong? Most of the time, they each maybe say one line in episode. That's it. Then Amy faced her fear. I assume we'll go to Gina's next and then save Rose's for last. Holt's blinded by by his love of this artist that I don't think I, I feel like he wasn't actually robbed he's trying to use it to get insurance money like something like that I think Boyle's on to something this guy's life is in danger he has a wife man don't worry if anything happens to him she'll be taken care of let's make it a blood pack oh look I'm already bleeding ah. Scully you stay here and call for backup in case we need it oh no way that's my partner in there I'm going in also, I can't call for help. I don't have any quarters. <laughs> Read it and weep. Read with two E's. Huh. It's my favorite joke of all time. <laughs> I'll come back later. Oh, nonsense. Okay, well, John, you're under arrest. What? Oh. Excuse me? He staged the robbery for the yep. insurance money because he's broke. Because oboists are not celebrities. Let's go, Charles. Mm. Oh, John. Oh, John. You get the catch. Great. I love that plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look what I found. French fries? What? No, it's Hitchcock. Where would I have found French fries in a weed farm? Well, shake their clammy hands and listen to them talk about things like... I love the suit. Does this outfit look drab and lifeless enough? Also, thanks, Amy, for letting me borrow it. You're welcome. I wore that suit to prom. How about those quarterly write-offs? And did you hear about the merger? <laughs> I have the plant on my desk. Oh, yeah. You want to sit with us? We'll all be dead so soon. <laughs> Face your fear. And I am Now it's your turn, Rosa. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that was a wig. <laughs> I'm in the cowboy mafia. I work for the Dallas Buyers Club. I came up with that name. You're sticking to character. It's a movie about AIDS. Hey, easy. Out of there. I'd really appreciate it kindly if y'all would stop punching my associate Reno there. The Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> okay, we make a deal. That's <laughs> easy. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't no, think I so. I told him to surround you. Dag nabbit. Dag nabbit. <laughs> I'm sorry that we're in this mess, but on the bright side, we don't have to deal with some lame oboist. You should be apologizing to Hitchcock and Scully. You took them out of their house mouse comfort zone. If you get killed, what happens to all your debt? Loophole. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak to you? Apologize? Um, are you still mad that I arrested John? You've handled this case with the utmost professionalism while I've behaved crassly. I think I've figured out a way to make it up to you. Are you stealing kitchen supplies? Just let us have this stuff. You have so much and we have so little. <laughs> Perhaps I'll just buy your drink. Classical musicians are savages. <laughs> you once told me you could roll that chair anywhere. Mm -hmm. Can you take it up those stairs? I once rolled a chair home in a blizzard. What? So yeah. I can go upstairs. <laughs> okay, it's go time. Okay, what do we do? Help! Hitchcock now! Oh, oh nice. Let's go. Grab his gun. Ooh, let's go. Black Fred. Think no, Fred. Just normal Fred. Oh, that was a gun, man. It's time for Operation B in Space 2. The refrying. Stop. Stop me! Stop me! Do it! Just do it! <laughs> Give it up for Hitchcock and Scully. Thank 
you for all you do. We have a little present for you. What? Brand new, top of the Ooh, line. with better cushion. Get ready to meet your new best friend. My butt. My ass. <laughs> oh. Okay. And they're about to sleep already. And the city's safer for it. From you, Lon. Not a doctor. Shh. Do -do -do. So that was season three, episode 16 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That was a chaotic episode with Jake putting this drug case onto Hitchcock and Scully and it turns out to be a much bigger deal than he thought it was. And then they all end up getting kidnapped and Operation Beans was crazy. At least for this season, I think this is the most we've seen Scully and Hitchcock, so I wonder if they're gonna get some more screen time in the future. I assume so. Boyle was put in charge of a celebrity case and Holt got way too excited about it and just wasn't thinking like a police captain. He was thinking as a super fan. And Charles has really like been stepping up this season. Like this episode, last episode, he was like, Jake, I don't trust Stevie, like I'm, you know, I know I'm jealous, but there's something more. And I feel like there was another episode recently where something similar happened, but I don't know. I feel like he's just been really growing as a character and I love to see that for him. Then we had Rosa, Amy, and Gina working to face their fears. Amy's being claustrophobia, Gina's being businessmen. <laughs> How about those quarterly reports? And Rose's fear of needles. I like that trio. I I just, I like their dynamic and I also love the duos within that trio. Amy Gina, Amy Rosa. Rosa Gina, I feel like we don't see a lot of. At least not that I can recall off the top of my head, so I'd like to see more of them. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, go check out my film channel. The link is in the description. Please go do that. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Do-do-do-do! Do-do-do-do-do! <laughs>